Dave Hartnett, uh, 339 Ocean Boulevard. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm a 43-year resident of Hampton. My three children grew up and went to school here. I'm a business owner down on the beach and in town, and I'm the son and the nephew of five uh, first responders. I've come here tonight to express my outrage on how some of the members of the select board and the budget committee have conducted themselves the past couple of months. There's a viciousness I have not seen in local politics since I grew up in Boston during force busing. Never seen anything like it in my life. But your behavior the last two months has been appalling. It is clear to me there are personal <coughs> uh, issues behind the scenes about the deputy town manager's position. But before I decided to speak, I decided to do some research and see how we got here. I see that Jamie Sullivan received a 5-0 vote back on September 29th from the town selectman. Town manager Fred Welch that said that hiring would be substantially decrease the town payroll. Welch went on to say, I've already started developing an extensive list of things that needed to be done, and I haven't been able to get to them. Among those items, he listed an employee handbook for the town's employees, as well as detailed tasks and projects. On the night the matter of the assistant town manager was voted, voted on selectman Woosley, moved to approve the position and would unanimously pass. Ms. Woosley then stated, we're going to make you work hard. We appreciate your expertise. So last week in public comment when it was stated we did not need the position and Mr. Welch was the only person who could do the job, I then decided to research Mr. Sullivan's qualifications. This is what I found. He's a 30-year veteran of the Hampton Police Force. During his time as chief of police, he was appointed by Governor Hanson to the Council of Standards for Trading. He was president of the emergency response team. He's a graduate of the FBI National Academy, has, ne has negotiated numerous town contracts, has been acting town manager in Mr. Welch's absence. He's obtained a master's degree in business administration. And if that wasn't enough, he was the coach of the wrestling team. And after watching how you people handle them, I, th I think that might come in handy for him down the road. Amongst the half-truths and lies during the past two months, we keep hearing about how upset the people in town are. And you're right, they are talking. But they're not talking about what you've been saying on Channel 22. They want you to live up to the agreement you signed with that man. It's upsetting the way that you people are acting. We live in a great town. We have great people. We have great resources. Fire, police, DPW, and this is the stuff that you decide to waste your time on. On that man's contract, do the right thing. Other Jay Morrison, 30 Kings Highway, Hampton. Uh, I want to reference the uh, June 17th Board of Selectmen's meeting. First of all, I want to say that the Board of Selectmen's meeting of June 17th was an embarrassment for the town of Hampton. The meeting looked more like a legislative session in the Philippines than a Hampton town meeting. The nasty talk interruptions, talking over each other, and the personal innuendos need to stop. Secondly, I've known Mr. Sullivan since he was the coach at the Winnicott uh, wrestling team and when my daughter was playing on the girls' basketball team. Everybody around there loved him. The school department had no problem with Mr. Sullivan, and you shouldn't either. It appears to me that this is second and third party information, and personal matters should be handled in a closed session. Making accusations that a second and third party uh, should be handled in a closed session. Uh, anything that's not verified or, or, or actually part of the town record, this shouldn't be talked about in, in public. You should use it in a town meeting, where in a closed meeting, where you can talk about it freely, but not over the public uh, channel 22. Grandstanding in front of the channel 22 camera should stop and not be a part of this board. So I ask you to please stop this public display. And then thirdly, I, I don't understand the, town, the time that was spent two weeks ago on the Coakley landfill. It's located in Northampton and Rye. If we have concerns about the state involvement with taxes, et cetera, then get the state representatives in here, your, your senators, and let, let them talk about the, the, uh, the, the state involvement with, the, with everything that's going on there. We don't have any business talking about it down here. If someone wants to talk about it or, or do something about it, that's fine. But don't waste our time talking about it at the, at the town meeting. Uh, let's see, one more. 
And finally, the Board of Selectmen, they all feel that Mr. Welch is ir irreplaceable. Well, let me tell you something. I've worked in another comp a number of companies, and even, even everybody is replaceable. So thank you. Thank you for your comments. John Tineas, um, on the galley hatch in Hampton. I'm not a resident of the town, but I have a vested interest here. <clears throat> we own property, pay a lot of taxes. And I can say that I'm really very, very upset. I've known Jamie Sullivan for a long time. They've, the, the two before me have laid down the foundation of what his qualifications are and what he represents. And if you look at his record, whether he was in the police station or whether he was in the town, town management. He was totally respected by all. I don't know anyone in town that personally has said a bad word about Jamie Sullivan. I was very, very distressed at the allegations that were made about his family. I don't think there's, this is a, this should not be a kangaroo court. I know, I know his family. They're all good people. I believe in promises kept and prom promises made and promises kept. And this is a promise that you made to a very, very good man. And I would expect that Hampton would keep that promise. You know, I've been around this town for a long time. I, I grew up, kind of grew up here. And I love the town of Hampton. Jamie's one of the nicest people I've ever met. He's always got a smile on his face. He comes in, he does his job. He's respected by the community. It would be a sad day to see Jamie Sullivan not be, not have those promises kept that were made to him. A very sad day. I hope you guys reconsider. Happy Fourth of July week in this beautiful town of uh, two Miracle Miles. I did not grow up in Hampton, but I've been here since 1991. And I have known uh, Jamie Sullivan since 1991 in many capacities. He has always been respectful and very professional. I am confident that uh, as a town manager he can lead. And I think the community backs him. So I don't know how we got here. This is a beautiful town. Um, I'm looking forward for Jamie to be the town manager. And uh, to me, he's a friend, but I've watched him from afar. And no, I'm not running for politics. I know I'm not as crazy as you people. But uh, he's a good man, good family, and I'm all about uh, America, God, country. And we got a good town, and he's going to keep it that way. Have a great fourth. Stay safe. Mr. Chairman, may we ask the gentleman to state his name and address? I said Dan Laniel, 395 okay. Lafayette Road. Okay, good. Thank you. I remember you when I worked as LeBec Rouge. I used to call you for uh, a transco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 17 and a half years at LeBec Rouge yeah. for Sylvia Dewhurst and Tracy, mm -hmm. and 10 and a half at 401, which I just, you know, yeah. I'm out. So I'm, I'm retired and I'm enjoying it. You Thank you. Have a great week. Excuse me? I said you got some good credentials there. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. <clears throat> Thank you, Desi. <laughs> Bob Preston, 339 Ocean. <clears throat> I'm here tonight to speak for Jamie. I have a, some concerns. We, a lot of us know Jamie, but there's many people in town now that don't know everybody. We see that every time we go to the polls, all these new faces. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people say, well, what is it about this fellow? Why is everybody so upset? I, I don't think it's right. I think, you know, we have to look at what, Jamie, what Jamie's done over time, uh, all his time at the high school as a role model and a coach. Um, 
most recently our newest latest little crisis in town happens to be trash we picked you picked Jamie to handle that big diverse group of people to come up with some kind of a solution all right I may not agree with the solution he comes up with but I can guarantee you that the way he holds his meetings there'll be a demeanor there and a, and, and a respect there that we all don't have here all right if you want to see judge people sometimes you judge them on, on what they've done and, and we'll just look at the Hampton Police Department we've had some pretty good chiefs over time and we've gone from chief to chief to chief and that department continues to run very well it runs because you people have brought in leaders to know how to help people I can tell you if when the time comes and we need a new town manager we don't have to go very far we have somebody sitting on the bench right now he knows the town the residents the community all of the departments I don't know what Jamie's politics are because I don't think he shows them he just treats everybody well and I think that we should all treat him well too thank you thank you Brian Warburton 24 Sanborn Road and I'm not sure it was mr. Morrison or mr. Hartnett talking about uh, families being picked on but they were absolutely right because I was the recipient of that last November by an individual in this room so when you want to go down that road we can get down is the longest road we want to go down I'm going to talk about some light stuff and then I'm going to comment on mr. Sullivan first of all I've heard a lot of comments out and about about mrs. Woolsey does everybody realize that on June 10th, 1995, it was Mrs. Woolsey because of her hard work that got the town transfer station open? She fought and fought and fought. There was a lot of us who had to hear a lot of grief from people. They didn't want the dump closed. And that's become one of the greatest things that this town has ever had. So if we want to look at history, we can look at that. As far as the non-union raises, absolutely against them. I think this town has got to start showing the taxpayers some responsibility and giving the taxpayers a break you know I, I, I know Dave Morrison very well he worked at Verizon and you know not every year you get a 2% or 5% or whatever raise it's not expected so at the end of the day quite frankly when we heard I think it was Mr. Preston said a lot of people are talking in public yeah there's a lot of people talking and the questions I get asked who's running the town is it experience Hampton is it there a chamber of commerce is it the guy down the beach because there was a comment made in the Hampton Union yesterday, which I had to laugh about uh, the chairman of the Hampton Chamber of Commerce now is going to meet with town officials to beautify the new pro the property, the new owner at the corner of Winnicott. That's not their business. This is what people are fed up with. You guys were elected to make the decisions. Uh, the Solid Waste Committee, I did watch the meeting. I commend a lot of the comments that were made. But the question that needs to be raised is this show me the incentive for businesses commercial trash to do anything differently that's the issue unless we come forward and show I think it was Alicia that brought up or Uda with great points about a private outfit and the people who had the private outfit another time were forced to watch their trash and recycling because they're paying for it yeah. so we, we got to keep that in mind the last comment I want to make and I want to thank the chairman this evening because I know you've let everybody go over the three minutes and I really respect you for that it's not about the fact that keep, people keep talking whether or not they like Jamie Sullivan mm -hmm. I'm going to appoint I, I'm going to point to 2017 and three members of this board made a contract which is unheard of of a part-time employee and promised that employee full-time town manager three years later that's the issue Forget about all the stuff whether somebody's qualified. As far as Jamie's qualifications, of course his qualifications as a police chief and the FBI Academy and everything, they're exemplary. But we're talking about town management. Mm -hmm. The other thing we gotta be very careful about, this town needs two town managers like it needs a hole in the head. Yeah. And that's the issue. And I will point to a comment, Mr. Griffin, you made two weeks ago, which people in the community are talking about. Your exact quote was, we're probably not going to have that deputy town manager anyway after Jamie's town manager. That made people think that this was already a done deal for him to get it when he retired from the police department. I'm only telling you that, that the people that I spoke with. And I'm, I'm going to make one more comment. And, and I, I got thick skin. I could care less with 
you know, people, if I run again or whatever, and if they don't like my decisions, you, too bad. You're the only one to speak more than four minutes. No, ago. that's that's you're unfair. Finished. Thank uh, you. Well, you are finished. Thank you. Well, that's. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I and had a because very he commented on something I said, I just reserve well, the. Right. You have. You're finished. Thank can you. Can I just make one final no. statement? Thank you. Okay, because it was Thank very you. important. So. Thank you. Right. Thank you. And what you said for what I said is not what was intended. Well, and I'm only said. answering that because you've said something that I've said. Well, I, said. What I said was we, I felt we didn't need to have two people. I was speaking for what I felt, not what this board is That's doing. Said, so yes, that we, and I think it will be that way to be in the, in the long run. It will be up to the new chief to decide, the new uh, town manager when he is there, whether we need to have a HR person or would we need to have a deputy? I personally don't see that we will probably have another deputy, in my opinion. But that's my opinion. So you've misunderstood what you've just said there. So don't talk for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did say it. Yeah, but you misunderstood what I was talking about. Thank you. Rich Sawyer, 41 Vanderpool Drive. I am here speaking as a resident of the town. Somebody raised the issue of Mr. Warburton and his comments about how he was targeted by somebody in the room. I think he might be pointing the finger at me. I'll be very clear. I wrote a memo regarding two members of the budget committee that I felt were legitimate conflicts of interest. I sent that to the chairman. I didn't make a public announcement. I saw it, sent it strictly to the chairman. Mrs. Wolseley brought that up at a meeting, and I felt for informational purposes, if we were going to discuss mm -hmm. it, it had to be fully disclosed. I hear a lot of people talk about the word transparency. They ought to stop being transparent then, because I didn't bring it up, and Mrs. Wolseley did. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to speak a public comment? Just because so many people have mentioned this tonight, I want to mention that we will be making a, uh, it's not that uh, I think um, Mr. Tinney has said to reconsider. We've never reconsidered. Everything is exactly the way it always was. Unless it changes here tonight, it is going to be dealt with and put to bed tonight, and we'll see what happens. But it's never been up for reconsideration, except for um, a minimum of the board. So the comments I made were public comment as a resident who also happens to be a selectman. And I talked to a lot of people. Um, not just chamber people, not just people that own businesses, but people that I see every day when I'm doing things that I've been doing my whole entire life. And somehow tonight it got turned into Deputy Manager Sullivan, who I believe Max quoted me correctly when I said in the paper that I had no problem with Jamie Sullivan or the position of Deputy Manager. But going forward, as I warned you, when I, before I got sworn in, I made a statement saying that my first year I comprehended a lot because I'm a hands-on person and I see what the town needs. As an organization, forget about politics, forget about who owns what, who pays what taxes. As an organization, losing a man like Fred Welch, just happens to be Fred Welch, who has 40, 50 years. Now I'm sure all the current chiefs and prior chiefs in this town know what it's like to go from someone who's been on the line of duty and been active for 30, 40, 50 years. They retire, they go away. It takes some adjusting. In the past few months, we've had things happen as an organization, which will always happen no matter what you do. It's impossible to prevent things from happening. That it concerns me to not have our current town manager. I never said anything about changing the contracts. I, this I've, matter's coming up later on tonight that we're going to discuss it, so why don't you wait until we are ready to fine, discuss it? Fine, but I just want to say it somehow is made into Jamie Sullivan. I okay. didn't make it into we're Jamie Sullivan. They did that evening. on their this own. This is uh, announcements and community calendar. Now, as it's far as other old business, as far as I'm concerned, we had these people that came in here tonight. Obviously, this is a hot item. I was under the impression that there was going to be a motion made here tonight. Did you have one, Mrs. Wolf? I, I'm holding it for another evening. Okay, well, if that's the case, I think that we need to discuss about this and put this matter to rest once and for all, unless you're prepared to make a meeting, to, I mean, make a motion tonight. People are waiting for this to be solved. So you're not prepared to make a, a motion that you discuss? I don't intend to make a motion this okay. evening. Okay, well, then I guess we need to go forward with. Um, 
uh, tell, you know, saying to the public, telling people that we, um, back when these contracts were first discussed, there were, I can't remember right now how many meetings that we had with lawyers. Lawyers looked into everything from every angle, and it was determined that everything was, we were within rights to do everything that was done. Everything was legal. There were no problems. We met with a lawyer again today, and the lawyer also told us that we are, um, we have no problems uh, with the contracts that we had. Uh, we could um, confirm them again tonight, but she told us there's really no need to, uh, for us to do that because this board has voted, and we have, like I said about Mr. Tinius mentioning um, that about how we, he had said we had reconsidered. We've never reconsidered. Um, every, you know, the, uh, the, the board has been in favor of what has already been done. So effectively, from what I can understand and talk to all the lawyers that we talked, including the new lawyers we talked to today, there is no problem with any of these contracts. And unless someone's prepared to make a motion, um, we're going forward with everything that's been done up until this time. I there believe we, council also said that if the Board of Selectmen takes an action, they can rescind their own action at a later date. Mm -hmm. Well, um, first of all, all five of, of the members of the board have voted uh, in the positive to do what's been done so far. Each person, when you vote for something in a positive way, you always have the ability to ask that it be redone or you could yeah. ask for everything to be reconsidered. Yeah. No one has done that, which would have been the proper way to do it. Yeah. If you voted positive for something, you could have asked at any time to have it reconsidered. I, You've not done that and I nobody not, else has. I did not vote. I was not on the board at the time the contracts were taken care of in 2017. I had no uh, interest in those contracts. Well, then you have an interest right now if you want to make a motion. But if no, you don't, I, we're going to move forward. This I, board I has can, already spoken. I can count, and I have made my uh, concerns quite clear. Well, this board has spoken, and we're going forward with our decision unless somebody here has a problem. And we're all very supportive of um, Mr. Welch. We're very supportive of Mr. Sullivan. And so we are going forward with the agreements that have been made. As the lawyer uh, told us today, the only way that this could be done is if there is an agreement to pay uh, if these contracts are not gone forward with. And from, what the board, from the feeling I'm getting from the board here, there is no desire to pay that money out. Did you I, have any desire I, to pay it out? No, where I am, so I was not party to the individuals who put that together. I will say that I agree with your comment uh, on uh, supporting Mr. Welch, but I do not support your other comment. Okay, that's fine, but this board is now marching forward with the decisions that have been made in the past.